What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well it is currently 4 in the morning here, I was sleeping, got a notification on my phone saying that Ada Cardano cleared $2.30 so I knew the breakout happened and here we are. I'm a little bit tired, I'm a little bit drowsy but we are gonna get this video made because I know you guys are wondering what is next. So what we can see of course from Ada Cardano is that we did finally see that big push to the upside coming out of the symmetrical triangle that had formed out of our downtrend. Now I said this that typically speaking, generally speaking, coming out of a downtrend and entering into a symmetrical triangle will be the start of a continuation to the downside, meaning that typically you will break out the bottom. But we've been comparing ADA to Solana in that it had the same exact formation. We saw something like this, then we saw the symmetrical triangle and the breakout to the upside. And so we ha all had a kind of a good feeling that we may be looking at a breakout to the upside for ADA Cardano, but we just needed that confirmation and now here it is. Now, one amazing aspect about this, just in my opinion, you know, some people take it some ways, I take it a certain way, is that if we look at volume down here, just in re relation to some of these other moves, there's really not much. Now, of course, we know that the United States, for the most part, is not awake yet. And so realistically, when they wake up, we could start to see this thing even further continue to the upside. But the fact that we were able to make this move off of just a very little momentum shift in volume just goes to show that if we do see that big influx of volume as the price may start to climb, I do believe it can carry us to pretty high heights. Now, realistically, looking at this thing on the short term, you know, on the hourlies, we are getting pretty extended. Um, just in terms of the hourly RSI, we are already starting to climb our way to overbought territory. And so if we do see a bit of a pullback, you know, even a possible retest of this trend line in which we just broke out of, I wouldn't be necessarily surprised, to be honest. You know, some people may wake up, realize that they started to see these, uh, you know, a new local high right here and decide they want to take some profits off the table or something of that nature in which we see a retesting of this support now and so with that being said of course being that we are a bit overbought and the fact that we are looking at a new high some people may take a few you know profits off the table again and cause that bit of a pullback but overall now that we have broken out of this downward trend line and set this new higher high that does just go to show that we are now officially can we can officially say we are in something of an uptrend this is going to be the first real um you know new local high that we've been able to put in and so the fact that we are now putting in those local highs we can start to look at where this thing goes in the future so overall first and foremost what i want to see is that the price is able to remain above the support line no matter what this is going to be an ascending support line coming back from this previous low that we put in way back in august and even if the price does start to roll as long as it remains above this support level right here i'm honestly not going to be too worried it can come back down ride this previous level of resistance all the way down and do something like that but as long as we are above this level of support i don't think there's anything to worry about and i think we're gonna see the move to the upside now looking at this thing more on a long-term perspective i mean there is just so much room to work here as you can see we still have loads of room to the upside and you know so much upside potential especially even if we do look at the daily charts we can see that this thing is still very low still sitting roughly around 50 on the uh, daily rsi and so that just goes to show that the amount of potential that there is for this thing to see a massive move is very very high okay now just in terms of what we're seeing on the four hour charts i would like to see that the price the rsi does continue to work its way up at least a little bit and put in this higher high here as you can see although we've put in this higher high on the charts we've still put in a lower high at the moment on the four hour rsi and i don't want to see us start to already see bearish divergence on the um the rsi simply that's just going to be a more negative catalyst that could cause this uh, correction back down to these support levels I'd rather just see us go in let's just go up just a little bit more towards 68 to 69 and put in that new high on the RSI before likely seeing some type of possible rollover to the downside you know continuation of this uptrend in which we are seeing so first and foremost my current goal is first to see again this hour this four hourly RSI put in this new high and then secondly I want to see us go back up to recapture this two dollar and 45 cent mark that has of course been my goal you know I do genuinely believe that if we're able to come up and clear 245 that we are going to see some type of big move to the upside after some type of correction so like something like this I, I do think this is very likely now of course we've been looking at this 
thing in terms of a one, two, three, um, you know, the beginning of a big wave. So of course we had our one, two, three, four, five. Then we had our ABC correction. So now we've come in to put in this one. We came back down to put in this two. And now we want to go put in this three above our previous high sitting at $2.45 to $2.50. So the goal in my anticipation right now is that as long as we do stay above our previous line of support, which is going to be right here, I do believe we are going to come in and put in a new high on top of $2.45. And if that is the case, I would definitely be looking to watch for a pullback and on that pullback, probably even increase my own bags as I'm under the belief that we would then start to work our way back towards 280, 290, and possibly up to $3. So overall, things are looking phenomenal. Again, do expect in the short term, there could be some type of pullback back to back test this support or this previous resistance level and establish it as support. But at the moment, our goal is to one, see that four hour RSI set that higher high and two, we come up to push up around $2.45 to $2.50. Congratulations to anyone who did stick out through this thing, who waited it out, who knew that, yeah, I know, you know, Ada's not moving as much, but there is still so much potential. And realistically, coming off an all-time high, it might have just taken a little bit longer to get some momentum, but it does seem as if that momentum is here. And so with that being said, of course, I will update you all as soon as something big does happen. You guys do know the first place to come is to the Tyler Hill channel. So make sure you subscribe and don't forget to press that notification bell as soon as you do subscribe so you never miss a video. But with that being said, I will see you all very soon in the next video. Peace.